Where am I? You're in your basement, Marcus. Who are you? I'm someone you don't need to know about. Where are you? I'm in the air. Where's my donut? I ate it. Did you really drive to Tim Hortons only for that donut? Yeah? You got a problem with it? I do have a problem. You could have taken a, a bus instead of driving your polluting car to Tim Hortons. What's the difference? Let me tell you the difference. Climate change is a global disease that is killing the world slowly. Because of climate change, habitats are being lost, temperatures are rising, precipitation patterns are changing, more droughts and heat waves are occurring, hurricanes are becoming more aggressive, and sea levels are rising. What can I do to prevent this horrible disease, you may ask? Well, there are many things you could do to prevent climate change, Marcus. But the easiest thing you could do is take public transit. You see, if people take public transit instead of their personal vehicles, there will be less pollutants and emissions going into the atmosphere, making the air quality of the world cleaner. Wait, doesn't public transit just make the air quality a little cleaner? Don't cars throw out the same type of pollution as buses and other public transit vehicles? What? Who told you that? That is totally wrong. Let my friends Glenn and Alex educate you. Railway transit vehicles produce very little or no pollution because they are operated by electricity. And other vehicles, like buses, use good fuels that produce less pollutants, such as compressed natural gas, liquefied natural gas, and fuel cells. Heavy rail transit, which is high capacity and for long distances, such as subways, creates 76% less greenhouse gas emissions per passenger mile than the average SOV, which stands for Single Occupancy Vehicle. Light rail transit, which is low, lower capacity and for intercity travel, such as streetcars, generates 62% less. Buses generate 33% less than the average SOV. Public transit does not only improve air quality, but it also conserves energy, saves fuel, and creates less environmental impacts. Surprisingly, using more public transit can eventually lower the demand for constructing more transportation structures like bridges and roads, lower the amount of fuel needed for personal cars, lower the creation of more vehicles, and lastly, it lowers the use of fossil fuels. This is crucial to help keep our world healthy because it saves more energy, saves more fuel, and creates less environmental impacts. You see, by taking the subway, bus, or any public transit vehicle, you are keeping our world healthy. You're saving the air we breathe, conserving the Earth's limited resources, reducing greenhouse gases, and leaving more open land. The effects of mass transit are unbelievably good for helping brawl climate change. All of these benefits are not only combating climate change, but are also fighting other problems on Earth. In short, stopping climate change begins with small steps, and to begin those steps, you must begin using public transit instead of your personal vehicles. Damn! I really should have used the bus instead of taking my car. Man, I'm hungry. Should I get another donut? Sure, let's take the bus. Where's the bus stop? Let me take you there. On your left. Tim Hortons should be around there. Just wait for the bus.